Game number two says, exactly three films, G, H, and L, are shown during a film club's festival held on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Each film is shown at least once during the festival, but never more than once on a given day. On each uh, day, at least one film is shown. Films are shown one at a time. The following conditions apply. On Thursday, Harvest is shown, and no film is shown after it on that day. Here's what I'm going to be working with here. I've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I've got G's and H's and L's. I have to use at least one. I have to use all of these at least once. I have to show uh, at least one film every day. I cannot show the same film more than once on a given day. Those are the basic general setup rules. That first rule, when it says, on Thursday, harvest is shown, and no film after it on that day, I think a really efficient way to deal with that is to just call this early and call this late. And if I just put an H right there, then there's no room to put anything after harvest on that day. So this is not the only way to do this game, but I think it's a pretty efficient way to remember that rule, right? It's about protecting yourself from yourself. And so if you had like put the H up here somewhere, you know, and then you're like remembering that nothing can go after it, I don't know, I just like, I want to do it as, um, as cleanly as possible so that I, I just can't possibly fuck it up, and that I think is unfuck upable. So the next rule then has a similarity to that first rule. On Friday, either G or L, but not both, is shown, and no film is shown after it on that day. So I'm going to then put a G slash L on that bottom line. It does say not both G and L. So maybe I'll put like a, um, hmm, like that, just a reminder but I can't have both. Nothing after it, one of those is going to be there with nothing after it, and I can't have both anywhere on that Friday. Is that okay? Last rule, again, similar, either G or H, but not both, is the last show on Saturday. Questions about this setup? And then this is a game where I'm going to make, like, absolutely no inferences at all. I don't know why. I, I just don't see a connection between the rules. You know, the Thursday never combined with the Friday, never combined with the Saturday. I've still got quite a bit of flexibility in the game. I don't see a reason to make two worlds. Um, I just don't, I just don't make an inference here. Yes? Well, maybe it help me visually to, to remember that there can only be, at most, um, two films on Friday and on Saturday, and at most three on Thursday, or on, yeah, Thursday. We just by like putting in parentheses over the H, like G slash L, and sure. that parentheses G slash L, and so on and so forth. It, um, what I might do is I might, I might real, I might do something like this, like in a parentheses, like a maybe spot. Uh, and here too, like a maybe spot. But, but, but if I was going to, and I might also go then like this or something, so that I remember that there can't be a third film, right? On uh, Thursday, and on Thursday is the only day that you actually could have as many as three films. So sure, that's, that's definitely worth noticing. This is a step further, but I, yeah, I mean, I think it's solid. Important to just make sure you know what it means, right? I, I will never write a spot, I won't write a blank line unless that spot must be filled. So then if I'm going to put a second spot that maybe is there, I'll have to put the parentheses around it so that I remember that it's like a question mark. I suppose an actual question mark would also do that same job. Other questions, comments? I just don't see any inferences. I don't see any reason to make two scenarios, so I have no choice but to just dive into the questions here. Number six says, which one of the following could be a complete and accurate description 
of the order in which the films are shown at the festival. I'm going to do this by process of elimination. So I'll start. Thursday has to be the, uh, sorry, uh, Harvest has to be the last show on Thursday. So A has Harvest as the last show on Thursday. B has Harvest as the only show and the last show on Thursday. C has Harvest as the last show on Thursday. D has Harvest uh, then Limelight on Thursday. So that gets rid of D. E has Harvest as the last show on Thursday. Cool. On to the next rule. Friday. Last show has to be G or L, and you can't have both G and L on Friday. A, Friday, only show is Limelight. That's good. B, Friday, has both G and L, so B's out. C, Friday, just Limelight. That's good. E, Friday, Limelight, then Harvest. No, Friday, the last show has to be either G or L. So E's out as well because of that rule. So the GL Friday rule got rid of uh, B, I think, and E. I'm down to A and C. I'm going to test this rule. Saturday has to have either G or H as the last show, and it's got to, you can't have both G and H on Saturday. A has Harvest on Saturday. That's good. C uh, has Limelight, then Greed on Saturday. That looks good. Oh, no, sorry, A is, not, A is not good. Sorry. Wait, no, A, A is good on that rule. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, right. But that, this rule does not get rid of... Uh, this rule does not get rid of A or C. That's why I was confused, okay? So let me do that again. On Saturday, we have Harvest as the last show. That's fine, according to that rule. C, Saturday. Limelight, then Greed... That's fine according to that rule. So what's missing? Oh, it's that hidden rule. They sometimes hide it up in the beginning setup of the game where it says you have to use uh, each of the players at least once. A, I see an L, I see an H, I see an L, I see an H. I don't see any Gs. So that looks like it gets rid of A. Let me just check C. Uh, and C does have a G and an L and an H. So C is fine. So the answer for number six, 100% sure, number six is C. Cool. I'll skip number seven because I'm going to do the if questions first. So I'm going to do eight, nine, ten, and then back to seven. Eight says, if limelight is never shown again during the festival once greed has been shown, then which one of the following is the maximum number of film showings that could occur during the festival? All right, so how do we do this? How do we never show, we want to maximize, but we also can't ever show anything once greed is shown. Hmm. I'm going to make these a little smaller now. And I guess I would just have to try it. I mean, my instinct is, why don't I put greed as late as possible so that that effect doesn't really take place? Um, um, but I am maximizing, right? So I will put an L here. If I'm not going to show greed, I'm going to save greed for later so that I can maximize the other two, basically. So Friday would be L as the last show, and I can put an H before that. Saturday, uh, I'll put greed as the last show, and I can put an L ahead of that. If I do it this way, I can get to six. So then the, other, the only other question would be, you know, can I do it in any different way and get to seven? If I was going to get to seven, though, I would have to have three things on the first day, right? Because, I mean, if you look at your available spots, if I used all the available spots, that would be seven spots. So the only way to do it would be, and I probably would try this, you know, is it possible to do this? to fill all those spots. Well, this is always H. Uh, the trick was I can't show limelight at all once I've shown greed. Is that right? Okay, so what if I go limelight first on Thursday, then greed? So I can show three things on Thursday still, but now I can't ever show limelight ever again. Hmm. So on Friday, I can't show limelight. This will have to be greed. I could put harvest before it, though. 
I'm looking pretty good until I get to this last world, or the, la the last day, excuse me. Saturday, I have to have greed or harvest. I cannot have both. And since I've already used greed a couple times, I can't use limelight anymore. So this is still going to be G or H, but I can't have both G and H, so this does not get filled. And so once again, I get to six, but I can't get to seven. So having tried it two different ways, my answer for number eight is going to be D, six. And yeah, I mean, I might not be 100% certain on that one. That's one where I haven't tried it every possible way, right? But I tried it two very sensible ways, and I could only get to six. I just don't see how I'm possibly going to get to seven. In fact, I think this actually does prove that you can't get to seven. So maybe I am 100% sure after all. Number, number eight is D. Number nine says, if greed is shown exactly three times, harvest is shown exactly twice, and limelight is shown exactly once. All right, I'm going to take over some board space here. Uh, if greed is shown exactly three times, well, uh, that, that impacts these, right? So I for sure have harvest is always here, but now if I'm going to show greed three times, I have to show greed every day. So the last show on Friday and Saturday both has to be greed, otherwise I can't show greed at all. See how that works? On Friday, if you're going to show greed at all, it has to be last. If you're going to show L at all on Friday, it has to be last. Because you can't have both of them on that day, and one of them has to be last. Okay. So then on Thursday, the other greed, I'm going to put it floating here with room above it and room below it. Because I don't know if there's another limelight or not yet. I don't know yet. Okay, so there's, the, there's my three greeds for question number nine. Now I need two harvests. Hmm. I've used one here. Ah, Saturday, I can't use it. If I use greed on Saturday, then I can't use harvest on Saturday. So harvest is not going to go anywhere on Saturday here. So the other harvest has to be here. And again, I'm thinking there could be an L above it or below it. I don't know. And number nine tells me that I have to use one limelight. That one limelight can't come on Friday because I had to use greed on Friday. So where can the limelight be? And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put like just maybe circles where the limelight could go because there's some flexibility, right? The limelight could go here, could go here, can't go anywhere on Friday, could go here. And those are your three possibilities for where that L could go. And that's how far I would get for question number nine. Now, which one of the following must be true? Do I have to show all three films on Thursday? I could, but if I put limelight here, then I wouldn't show three films on Thursday. So the answer for number nine is not A. How about B? Do I have to have exactly two films shown on Saturday? I could, but I don't have to. How about C? Limelight and Harvest are both shown on Thursday? No, I, the, uh, the limelight could go here. How about D? Greed is the only film on Saturday. No, I could put limelight there. E? Harvest and Greed are both shown on Friday. Yep, I made that inference. Harvest and Greed are both on Friday. So the answer for number nine is E. Is that okay? All right, number 10. If limelight is shown exactly, so the same kind of question. I'm going to do the same thing again. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And this time we get if limelight is shown exactly three times. Well, limelight's an option for Friday in the last spot, so it has to go in the last spot on Friday. This still has to be G or H. The other uh, days also have to have a limelight. So again, I'm going to put it kind of floating with room above it and below it, limelight has to go on Thursday, and same thing on Saturday. Limelight has to go on Saturday. <clears throat> Number 10 says, harvest is shown exactly twice. Um, hmm. I see two ways to do it, and so I'm just going to go ahead and pencil out both of those scenarios. I, I sometimes, do you believe me that I would actually do that? I'm not lying. Uh, I would do it. Okay. Uh, harvest shown exactly twice. 
it's here for sure, but the other harvest could be here or could be here, right? And then there's going to be one greed. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to just make that split. So what I'll do now is, this is question number 10. What I'll do is I'll replicate this entire thing. And then I'm going to um, either put harvest here or here. So I'll make this harvest in that world. And in this world, I'll put the harvest here, which then makes this greed. And it says I can only use one greed. So I guess this world's done then. I got three limelight, two harvest, one greed. Nothing else is happening in this scenario. Here, I still have, oh wait, no, I don't have any, I ha actually I do have a tiny bit of flexibility with regard to greed. Greed can't go here because limelight's there. Uh, greed can't go here because harvest is there. But the greed can go two places on Thursday. The greed could go here or it could go here. So it turns out there's uh, one, two, three different total ways to do it. Which one of the following must be true? All, uh, no, sorry, um, I was looking at the wrong question. Which one of the following is a complete and accurate list of the films that could be the first film shown on Thursday? Thursday could be Limelight, could be Greed, could be Limelight. If there's an answer that says Limelight and Greed, that's the answer, and there is. So the answer for number 10 is D. Yes? Before diagramming like that, do you consider the time consequences, or do you just go straight forward? I do not think about the time. Ever. On the LSAT, I do not ever think about the time. And it, that's the biggest difference between me and you. Is that I am confident enough that if I just work diligently for 35 minutes, I'm going to figure them all out, or I'm going to figure a goddamn lot of them out. And my job is to figure this shit out. Notice how much time I save though when I look at the answer choices and I already know that the answer is GL and it's one of the answers and I, that's it that's the answer so yeah this is an investment of time but it pays off it just it really does pay off if you're ever trying to save 15 seconds by not making this other diagram you're doing the wrong thing that is just not the way to do this you need to do whatever work is required in order to figure out the question and get it right. That ends up being the fastest overall strategy. I'm going to go back now to number seven. And by the way, these diagrams might help me to figure out number seven as well, right? That's kind of the point of doing the if questions first. Number seven says, which one of the following cannot ever be true? And look how much work I've done. So the correct answer here will be something that has never appeared in any of these scenarios. A says, Harvest is the last film shown on each day of the festival. Oh, wait, shit, that's actually a really easy question to say. That, that can't be true. And the reason why that can't be true is simply because G or L has to be the last uh, film shown on Friday. Possibly the easiest question of all time on the LSAT logic games right there. You know, it's one rule. All you have to do is remember that G or L is the last show on Friday, and then that makes the answer for number seven A.